Hi guys, welcome to DM Animation channel. My name is Dayan and today we are going to talk some tech. What is the best computer for video editing and visual effects? What CPU, graphic card, how much RAM and hard drive should you get for best Adobe After Effects performance? In this video, I will unbox, build and test PC that is my subjective opinion currently best buy and maybe help you making important decision that you need to make when buying the best computer for Adobe After Effects Premiere Pro for general video editing, 3D and VFX. So let's start with unboxing and building up the new PC. I will be honest, it isn't the cheapest but isn't the most expensive build that you will find today. For motherboard, I choose Asus Prime Z390A, which is not too expensive, but still offering support for newest 9th gen processors, 4 DIMMs for DDR4 memory, 2 M2 slots, and 3 PCI Express for 3 graphic cards. Similar to a computer for 3D modeling and animation or video editing, having a high core clock will make your computer much snappier. This means the more cores you have and the higher those cores are clocked, the better. So I chose i9-99K. For RAM memory, I bought 64 gigs Corsair Vengeance. In general, the more RAM you have, the more data you can store and After Effects is constantly hungry for RAM. As more RAM you have, After Effects will work faster. I recommend minimum 64 gigs of RAM for 4K work. Keep in mind that if you use other programs at the same time as After Effects, you will need enough RAM for all of them. For primary hard drive, I bought the new M2 SSD Samsung 970 EVO that have excellent performance and outperform any SATA SSD by far. For secondary hard drive, I will use my old SATA 3 Toshiba 3TB mechanical hard drive. For cooling, I bought Enermax Liquid Fusion 240 RGB, which is liquid cooled setup with RGB lighting, in my opinion. This is the best option for cooling, as it will hold low temperature of this fast and hot CPU, and it is very cheap too. For case, I decided not to spend a lot of money, so I simply bought best budget and best looking option. From company MS Industrial, I bought MS Aquarius Pro case, which has 3 RGB fans, side glass, and support for liquid cooling. It is extremely important to have supported the GPU, but the actual performance of that card will not make a major impact on performance. So for that reason, I decided to buy a cheaper card, NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti, with 4 gigs of DDR5. I also bought new monitor. It is 34 inch IPS display from company named AOC, which has 2K resolution and 75 Hz refresh rate. As I personally don't like ultra wide monitors, this is just a regular one. I finally finished building new PC, so let's do some real world testing. I will do speed comparison in just two apps, new Cinebench R20 and After Effects CC 2090 with my gaming laptop Asus GL752V that I'm currently using. Just to mention that this is not raised between laptop and PC, just some real world comparison so you can see what you can expect. First, I will do speed comparison in Cinebench. In multi-core rendering, we can clearly see that the new PC is way above, almost 3 times faster. Now let's go in After Effects. I will use complex 4K project, with lot of particles. So let's see how they perform. Again, as expected, PC is clearly way above and about 2 times faster. Lastly, I tested warp stabilizer effect of 10 seconds 4K footage. Results are clear. This PC was great investment. That will be all for now. So, thanks for watching guys. If you dislike this video, you can hit that button. But if you like it, you can hit like, subscribe and stay tuned for more.